This is our container buckets we use for our planting our tomatoes. We've done this for several years. I'm going to show you what supplies you need and basically how to assemble one, although I don't have any dirt at this time to do it. So, to start with, you need two buckets, and you do not want a dark color. You want white. If you have a dark color, you want it to be the inner one, because if you have the outer one dark, it's going to burn your tomatoes. First bucket you're going to have is basically plain, so if you're going to put holes in this side. And you want the holes to be, usually we have two, this bucket only has, it has two on the same side, which is not good, so we're going to put another one in later, but um, you want them to be below where the second bucket, when you put the second bucket in, it's going to be below where the bottom of that second bucket is. The second bucket, you are going to take where the bottom is here, you're going to put, cut out a big hole. We used a hole saw attachment to do this. It works really good. And then we did another hole off to the side where our PVC tubing will go off. You want it near the edge. You also did, drilled several holes, no particular rhyme or reason, to do them just around to help with um, root development and stuff. No holes in the side. You're going to need a piece of PVC that is. Sorry for the interruption. You need a piece of PVC that is long enough that when it fits into the into this one, the one without the hole in the bottom, it's going to be long enough to extend up. At first, we only had them cut at the right at the length up here. It became hard to water, so we added this slight angle, not a right angle, a slight angle, and another shorter piece. So now we can water from this a little bit side. It's a lot easier to get the hose there and to water. You're going to cut a notch out so that when it sits in the bucket, it's not flat and creating a, a seal. That way water can get in and, and out. The hole needs to be big enough that it will slide through the, the, the top bucket. You're also going to need a small plastic cup. We don't use them year after year. They're cheap. We cut four slits in the side. I have a little cheapy knife that does wonders. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take the top bucket and put it into the other bucket. You see where the hole, the bottom is? It's behind, below that. You're going to take the cup, fill it with some dirt, and place it in to the, into the center hole. It doesn't matter if it is... Uh, not flush, that won't matter. Before you put dirt in the rest of it, you want to put this pipe in. Set it in, and you want it. Sometimes there's a little bit of wiggle room, but you want to set it so that elbow goes out. And I like to have it, and I always forget, set that so I can see the holes either in front of me or off to the side a little bit. So you want to rotate this other bucket around a little bit. Then all you do is fill it with dirt up until where you want to put your plant in. Put your plant in, add some more dirt, and then you are done. When you water, we water. Through this, we don't top water. And I think that's about it. It's, it's a real simple system. Um, easy to take care of. Um, one thing we do do in the summertime, because we have ours on a concrete pad, which does get very hot, we will elevate it about this much by putting, um, we have some scrap pieces of um, composite lumber left from our deck project. We'll put like two pieces underneath there. That elevates it up a little bit, and so it's not directly on the concrete. Um, the tomato roots, we do, I've, I've put beans in these. I don't like the beans that much in there but they, they do work but it's a lot better than putting beans in the garden and having to um, weed as much um, we've done tomatoes we've done peppers done cucumbers in, in some similar arrangements like this with a with a tr narrow trellis type thing um, the, the roots will go down into the water by the end of the season and um, you do collect some green mold stuff just from having it sit on the deck and, and water and stuff and just wash out. Like I say, I have not been washed out really well yet. So that's it.